How's it going guys? This is just a quick video for the evolution of combat showing some of the little tips and tricks and involving the keys and the keybinds. Now they're mostly for combat everyone assumes but uh, since I finished maxing out I've been doing a little bit of just like random stuff around the game seeing what the evolution combat is actually like rather than combat itself. Now for skilling, uh, the best place here to kind of try it out for you guys was the Living Rock Cavern and since it has the mining areas and the fishing areas it's uh, multiple areas, multiple skills. Now I almost got a full inventory here. What I'll do is, or what I did do is, I dragged the rock tail over to the uh, key bind here, and it can go to any key, it doesn't really matter which one, but since it's a new tab for me, it was number one. So if you check it, the number one option, when you right click, it's automatically to drop it. So what if I do here, if I hold down the one, I will drop the whole inventory within like two, three seconds, and that's it. Now it's up to you if you want to keep the stuff or drop it. I'm dropping these just because I checked the price of rock tails and they're at like 900 each and probably going to drop even more because they used to be about 2k each last I checked. So along with the bots in this game they're crashing pretty hard with all the other items. So I'll get back to you guys when I get to the mining areas. This is the same situation as rock tails for the gold deposits and coal deposits in this area. Now once you got pretty much full inventory you can just spam the key, same situation, drag the gold ore over to a key option and in my case it was number two and I got coal here for number three but I only usually mine coal if it's no gold spots open up. Anyways, uh, it's extremely quick. Once again it completely is up to you if you want to bank the stuff at the deposit box just in the distance over here or if you want to just drop the items. Now the prices of stuff isn't too much. If you're looking for XP per hour this is probably the better option to do and you can add on uh, those urns you can teleport away also because since you're not going to be filling a full inventory it's completely up to you whether or not you want to get maximum XP per hour by having urns on you, uh, special bonuses in the armor and pickaxe and all that crap. Right now for the video I'm just using the days just to sh kind of show you how it works. Um, another thing that's nice is if the inventory is not filled up yet, like as you can see here it's only halfway filled, if I just drop everything, spam the key, my guy will continue mining and I don't even have to click on it. So as long as this little deposit is open, you'll continuously mine as long as you don't fill up your inventory and you get the message in the box here saying that uh, you can't mine any more ore or fish any more fish. If you just spam the button and drop your inventory before it's filled, you'll just continue doing the action until either the spawn moves or closes up on you. So overall, it's a nice little tip and trick just to kind of speed up your XP per hour without having to right click and go through the entire inventory because it's going to take much, much longer and overall it just saves you a hassle in the end. So anyways, enjoy.